Well, Stan, the motions provided a roadmap to how the trial is expected to unfold. Just like the defendant, William Porter, the jury deciding his fate and the police in custody death of Freddie Gray will get to go home each day. But Judge Barry Williams will allow the panel to remain anonymous. The judge explains because of all the publicity surrounding the case, disclosing juror names could lead to harassment and expose them to unwanted publicity. I think it's an example of Judge Williams attempting to um, accommodate the legitimate concerns of the defense. Prosecutors will not be allowed to tell the jury they believe police arrested Gray illegally, but they can show the panel two videos, the initial arrest and later at another location where police shackle Gray and place him in the wagon. In court papers, prosecutors reason the video shows that Gray can walk and lift his head. The prosecution has to show not only what happened, but when it happened. Prosecutors contend Gray suffered a spinal injury sometime after leaving Mount and Baker Street. The jury will be allowed to see the police wagon. Prosecutors argue Porter failing to seatbelt Gray deviated from police policy and his recklessness contributed to Gray's death. In court filings, the defense argues Porter didn't know about the policy. However, internal police emails and audits indicate the agency has tried to get officers to put seatbelts on detainees for years. Porter has already informed the court he anticipates testifying. The judge will allow him to call 25 character witnesses. But the judge abruptly stopped a defense argument for 10 opportunities to dismiss a potential jury member. He gave each side four strikes, proclaiming, I'm satisfied that I am right and you are wrong. The Maryland Court of Appeals will tell me I'm wrong. Legal experts believe the verdict will be a game changer. It is likely that the first trial is going to set a baseline, either good or bad, uh, for both the prosecution and, and the defense. William Porter waived his right to appeal. He'll be plenty busy on Monday when he helps pick a jury of his peers. The judge wants to call up 75 to 80 people at a time. Reporting live from City Hall, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News.